when our LED is pointing to the sun, it gets 0.8 volts. When it's in the shade, it gets a tenth of that, 0 0.08 volts. I'm about to make the simplest solar tracker in the world. Let's glue a, a piece of cardboard to the servo motor. That's more or less centered. And then let's get this to point towards the sun. So we're going to glue there and there. So, now we're all ready to get this to point towards the sun. See how it's pointing towards the sun. Now it's going to start all over again. It's going to rotate completely clockwise and now it's going to keep on rotating anti-clockwise in the direction the sun's going to travel. And when the LED goes into the shade, it now rotates quickly backwards and points to the direction the sun's coming from. So it's finding the sun and it's pointing to the sun. So now we start again, see the LED on the left is going into the shade, when it gets sufficiently into the shade, it goes and points back to where the sun is coming from. Now the cycle is started again and it is slowly rotating uh, anti-clockwise, watch the voltage, it's dropping and then at new when it dropped that it had, the LED had gone into the shade, then it rotates back, points at the sun, and waits 10 seconds. Now it's, the cycle is starting again. The biblical book of James, chapter 1, verse 5 says, If any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God that gives to all men liberally and upbraids not, and it shall be given him. So, so often, when one lacks the answer to a problem, one can just go to God and ask. And if you believe you'll receive an answer, you'll get one. As in the solar tracker, I was looking for a very the simple, a very simple solar tracker, and this idea came to mind. But I also want to give a big shout out to my friends at Maker Pro, formerly um, Electronics Point Forum. You know, you can go and ask those good folks anything and they will help you. So I was having a problem with the LED readings and I went to them and I asked them and they suggested a whole lot of things and the net result was that I changed the LED to a much bigger, more powerful LED and then I was getting consistent readings whereas before with a small, cheap, little green or yellow LED it wasn't giving a very consistent reading. So, and the, these good folks give up their time. These are professionals. These are, um, you know, their time is valuable. And I've always found them terribly helpful at solving your electronic problems. So, it's sort of like you come to God. God has got a totally positive attitude. He likes, he's interested, just like these folks on the forum. They're interested in what you're doing, interested in helping you. You just have to come, ask, and receive. It's just absolutely wonderful. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, what I consider the world's simplest, cheapest 
one LED, that's one component solar tracker. Of course, you've got to have a servo motor and you've got to have a pipe pico. But I mean, you're going to have to have something that's going to turn your uh, photovoltaic panels. I would just attach the photovoltaic panels to the server and the servo would turn them just as it does the LED to face the sun. So tell us if you think you can find a circuit that uses fewer components than one simple common LED. So here is the final program. I'm not going to go through it. If you're interested, you can go through it. Here is the loop at the end. So it's a continuous loop and this runs the servo from in an anti-clockwise direction for X in range min to max step 50,000. Changes the pulse width modulation duty cycle. After each small change, it waits a second. So that's why you see the servo go through those steps. Then it reads the voltage coming from the LED. It prints the voltage. Then it says if the voltage drops below 35,000, then go backwards, go clockwise, move the server clockwise about four seconds worth of, to get it back to pointing towards the sun, sun, then wait 10 seconds. So you point it towards the sun for 10 seconds, then break, you break out of this four next loop and you will start again, right again with the cycle. So that's, that's the basically the interesting part of the circuit.